Hi guys, welcome back to episode four of Geography Explained Online. Today we're gonna to be looking at a very important skill. You use it all the time. That skill is scale. Physio, no. It's, 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 Cause it's a, it's a scale and it, try, it'll work. Alright guys, we're back. Sizio, can you please tell from the skill we are actually doing? Okay, so today we're going to look at, like I said, a very important skill, which is scale. It applies to pretty much every map that we're going to see on a broadsheet. So understanding how to do it and how to understand it, very important. We're going to look at three in particular today, and we're going to start with the easiest one, which is our word scale. So scale is essentially just a measurement of how much smaller is the map you're looking at compared to the real world that that map represents. So for example, if I had a map the size of the school, it would make no sense to have it be the same size as the school because then you need an enormous map. How many kilometers in real life does the centimeters on the map equal? Okay, so to do this, we've got three different ways in particular, and you can see from up here. We've got our word scale, which we're gonna look at in a second, a bar scale, and then finally our ratio scale, which is a little bit hard to use, but very, very common. So the word scale, up here we've got one centimetre equals one kilometre is pretty much the easiest and the most basic way to use scale. You've probably seen these on maps in the past. And it literally just says what it is. Every centimetre on the map equals one kilometre in real life. So that means if you get your map out and you get a ruler and you've measured that there's eight centimetres between two points, all you need to do is times one kilometre by eight, because it's eight centimetres, and you know that in the real world you've travelled eight kilometres between those two points. All right, we're going to have a look now at how to do bar scale, but we're going to show you a bit closer up. Okay guys, so what we have here is a bar scale, and you can see here that we've got zero kilometers on one side, five kilometers on the other. So the first thing we need to do is simply measure this bar. And you can see here that the entire thing is five centimeters, and each of these marks here is one centimeter. So if we fill in the gaps, we'll notice that that means each of these spaces is one kilometer apart. Three, four here up to five at the end. So what this really means is that each centimetre, as you can see here, each centimetre on our bar graph is equal to one kilometre in the real world. This is really useful when we want to estimate distance. So this will be used in a lot of basic maps. And if you want to, rather than ruling, if you just want to get an idea of distance, you can just use your fingers and say, all right, well, that's five kilometres, and you can measure it out from there, roughly how far it is between two points. All right, guys, so just using our most common ratio scale of one to 100,000, you can basically, you can almost use that as a starting point because it is so common. We know that 100,000 centimeters is one kilometer, therefore one centimeter is one kilometer. When you have another type of quite common uh, ratio scale like one to 50,000 or one to 250,000, you can just compare it to one to 100,000 and sort of get a feel for how big it is. So 50,000, obviously that's half of 100,000. That just means that one to 50,000 equals one centimeter is half a kilometer. Uh, one to 250, obviously 250 is 2.5 times 100. So one to 250,000 just means one centimetre equals 2.5 kilometres. So you get your ruler out, you find it's 10 centimetres, obviously that's gonna be two, uh, 25 kilometres. So that's really one great way to do it, but different people learn skills in different ways. So we're gonna show you a second way that you can approach this, and that's to use a simple rule. So for this one, what we're gonna understand is that one kilometre is the same as 100,000 centimetres. Once we know that rule that one kilometre is equal to 100,000 centimetres, what we can do is take any ratio scale and take the number on the right hand side and we're going to just simply divide by 100,000. In the HSC, in your test, you're always going to have a calculator. So get it out, divide the right hand side by 100,000 and you're going to have converted from centimetres straight into kilometres. Okay guys, now that we know how to go from centimetres to kilometres, which we always do when we get a ratio scale, we're gonna work out how to go from kilometres into metres. This is really important because a couple of our skills like gradient and vertical exaggeration, which we did a few weeks ago, require us to use metres. Um, this is a really simple thing to do, but it's, sometimes the simplest things are the a really easy place to make a mistake. So you just need that little bit of extra concentration. So we're halfway through a gradient question here, which we did a couple of weeks ago, if you wanna go back and check that out. Um, so we've found our rise in metres, 55 metres, and we've got our run in, in kilometres. So we basically, to make this equation work, we need to ha have them both in the same units. So very, very simple. There's a 1,000 metres in a kilometre, of course. So we just need to times the 7 kilometres by 1,000, 1,000 metres in a kilometre, and then we have both the rise and now the run in the same units, and the equation now will work. Now that we have shown you how to do these three scales, you'll be set to go and do our gradient questions, vertical exaggeration questions, and find distance between places on a map. 
Hey guys, thanks for joining us today and learning all about how to do scale. Can be a little tricky little skill, a little bit of concentration though, and you'll get it for sure. Make sure you like and subscribe and join us next week because we're going to be doing another video about how to use contour lines. See you then. Next video, which is on... Something. A skill of your choice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not putting that in the boy list. Joke, explain.